Okay, so we've got filaments which are long tubes. So the surface area, we can neglect these circular bits at the end because they're so small compared to the rest. So the surface area is given by 2 pi r times the length. So just the circumference times however long this filament is. Okay, now in part A, we were asked to calculate the power emitted by the hotter one compared to the power emitted by the colder one. Okay, so let's substitute in everything we know. We've got sigma A E, and now the hotter temperature, TH was 2100 degrees C, and the cold temperature was 2000 degrees C. That's what we were told in the question. So this is 2100 plus 273 all to the power of 4 over sigma AE 2000 plus 273 all to the power of 4. These are all common factors so they cancel out. So solving this on the calculator we end up with 1.19. So the hotter one emits 1.1 times as much power as the colder one. Now in part B, we were told we want to keep the temperatures the same and change R. Okay, so now we want pH over pC that we want them to emit the same amount of power. So we want this to be equal to 1. So this is equal to sigma A of the hot one, E, and this temperature hasn't changed. So it's 2100 plus 273 to the 4 over sigma, the surface area of the cold one. That's 2000. Okay, so that cancels, that cancels. Now this part we've solved up here. We know that the value of this is 1.19, so let's replace that with 1.19. And now we've got 1 over 1.19 is equal to AH over AC. And we've seen that the surface area is equal to 2 pi, now this is R for the hot one times the length, over 2 pi R for the cold one times the length. Now the lengths we're saying are the same, these two pi's are also the same. So we've got 1 over 1.19 is equal to the radius of the hot one over the radius of the cold one. Okay, so this tells us that the radius for the cold filament needs to be 1.19 times the radius for the hot one. So by a factor of 1.19.